Okay, it's Mr. Robs here, and today we're going to talk about writing a math essay. The first thing we're going to talk about, which some of you may have done already, is the introduction, which consists of interest and background for your topic. You define your variables, and inside the introduction, so you should have your curiosity question. So, here's in your slide learning modeling, we have this slideshow, and we're going to start talking about the write up. Um, when we look at our exemplar, here is where we see the beginning of it. We had a title here, and this particular paragraph here is the background and the information. And as you read through it, the Rainbow Glacier Montana has been receding. Glaciers are blocks of ice that can melt over time, and by doing so, they add water to streams and rivers. Electric problems can occur if there is a lack of melting, and hydropower systems don't get the full push they need in order to function efficiently. Based upon this data, I will make a mathematical model to predict how far the glaciers will have receded since 1985 until the future, 2020, the year I graduate high school. Through data points, I will collect the best fit line that will be able to then predict the height decline of the Rainbow Glacier for years to come. In order to find the line of best fit, I had to go through multiple steps. I calculate the midpoint, multiple slopes, average slope, and finally use my findings to discover the best fit line. The variables in this project are years Y and position P. So when you look at this thing, this first part here is the introduction in the background, why it's important, why we even care. This particular sentence here, even though it's not a question, this is the curiosity question. This is the whole purpose of the task. It's inside the paragraph. And then finally, it is very clear what the variables are going to be, Y for years, and P for position. They are appropriate for the variables being used. If we were talking about xylophones and yaks, then X and Y would be would be nice to use. You'll even note that Y is in the position of where the independent variable where to X typically is. And so be consistent with your variables. I, throughout this essay, there will not be any X variable. And there will not be a Y variable here, but they'll use P's and Y's all the way through. And that's really important that you do that. So when you start to type it up on your template, the first thing you could do is know this. You can delete this. You can change your title to Rainbow Glacier. Rain, Rainbow Glacier, or whatever your topic is something as appropriate for yours. And then just so that we know what the curiosity question is, be able, oh, it shouldn't be bold because it's not bold. Be able to, I'm gonna probably, based upon this data, here is my curiosity question here. Okay. And this is gonna be my introduction and background. Once I'm there, I can delete all of this material here, and I can just type the introduction. I can even get rid of the heading. Okay, and so this document, you'll be deleting pieces of it as you go, trying to get an interesting and visually appropriate introduction with the variabilities and the curiosity question given. And so I would start to type up this particular paragraph. It would go right into here. Okay, and then I would be moving on to the data set. So there's the introduction and curiosity question and defining the variables.